times I'm here talking about grip. Let's see if we can get this up and running. I've been given lots of warnings as to why it might not work. But is there anything coming up? Right, okay. So, uh, three minutes. What is GRIP? Um, GRIP is a method by which patients can configure notifications to share information with people or organizations that they specify if they trigger the events by uh, uh, entering healthcare. We have built on the existing open EHR platform. This is Handy Hop, uh, which is a visualizer, and this is the sort of uh, thing that the patient, if they signed into it, would come into and they'd be able to put in information about their previous medical history, medication, allergies, any special instructions to what sort of care they would receive. This forms the background information. The patient can put this information in or you can work to have clinical systems update this as well. What they would then do, and this is what we've been working in over the weekend, is the patient can then create notifications. And uh, this came from my idea of when patients go into accident emergency, I as a GP would like to know which ones have gone in, so I can maybe call them to bring them down. In speaking with some of the patient groups when I got here this weekend, realized actually that patients actually may have some special instructions they want to put in as well. So using this, and this is what we've been developing, they would put up something like, if I have been admitted to accident emergency, then send them my record summary. Or, if I have been admitted to accident emergency, send a text notification to perhaps an important next of kin, maybe in this case, I'm sending it to myself for this demonstration. What then happens is that this is what we would have to do. We'd work with different acts of emergency departments or ambulance services. I have a vision of doing this in where I work in Eastbourne, the local area. Then we'd create a notification in the clinical system that would go up to the grid database. So this is the format of a message here. You can see the patient name, NHS number, they've attended, this is card of DGH, and a little bit of information about what's wrong there. We would create a notification. Now, this is the bit where I start burning up the time. Okay, well, this is where I start praying, and I should be receiving a text message, hopefully, I'll leave this here if the text message has come up, but can everyone see, is that in there? Well, the two things would happen, so first of all, right, fingers crossed, uh, I should be able to zoom in. If you look at the top, other than messages from my wife with a pot on my head. You can see the first message coming in. Okay, so this can be configured. This might be an actual kin or it might be a GP saying patient X has gone to accident emergency. We want <laughs> email comes to the ND department, they press that, brings up the mobile voice with that. Right, so there you go. Well, the way I was going to extend this is on the work that we did this weekend, I'd go back to my own practice area and I was thinking of finding a target group where this would be particularly helpful for palliative care, palliative care list, work with them to create notifications to the hospice or home team. So if they get any of the local acute care, active emergency departments, which are three in my area, or the ambulance service, it would notify them. So actually, even though this is something that patients can administer themselves, we would start to build the use of this by assisting patients in doing this. Targeting certain so patient groups. The question is more if the patient wasn't able to set this yeah. up. Oh, right, okay. Is that your question? Uh, I'm just thinking theoretically the people who benefit most are the people least likely to be able to do it. Yeah. And would this be a good investment? Because sitting where I am with my mm -hmm. legs, I think this would be incredible. Yeah. I, I, I would I'm absolutely see us moving this. Where people just, it's the thing you do for your parents, it's the thing you do for yeah. your friends. If you but have if it, those skills. If it works as well as that, which I have apps that I run my business with that work that well, exactly and I can't see what, you know, it would be brilliant. You, you, you could have any yeah. uh, primitive proxy to the point. I'm working with the different clinical systems between primary and secondary care and social. Okay, are you looking at the first thing you would potentially try and do is find, I mean, Again, my vision is to find a certain area to develop it and then work with the, the big ticket areas, so accident emergency and ambulance service. So it would require some development to create the notification, or we develop an app so the patient can start the notification themselves. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much.